Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. In this article, I will discuss the one and only AMC stock and what investors should anticipate in the future. I will also summarize some extremely crucial points that Jerome Powell just made before the US Senate. Why did he say such enormous things that will affect the entire market? This will impact AMC. I will explain why this will likely result in a significant market decline over the coming few months, possibly beginning as early as this week. We could actually see its beginning. Before I break this down, before I get into the specifics of what Jerome Powell just said, there are a few things I need to mention. To begin with, I am not a financial planner. Ensure that you accept none of this as financial advice. In addition, if you could hit the like button if you wanted to see more films like this, it will not just aid me, but also the entire Ape community. AMC decline exceeds 3%. SPY is down more than 1.5%. The Q has lost over 1% for the day. The market is experiencing a slight decline. I believe SPY is really close to genuinely filling the void down there. We are pretty close to completing it. We could attempt to rebound after that. But I wouldn't bet on it being particularly large because, once again, Jerome Powell shocked the markets when he made extremely key remarks. What did he say then? I will provide you with a very, very brief summary. I don't want to go into excessive detail and spend 30 minutes discussing it. Powell stated that the Fed is willing to increase interest rates more aggressively than in the past. They will increase or may increase the overall terminal funds rate. He also said that we are not currently experiencing deflation. He hinted that he was first mistaken about this. And he asserts that if inflation continues to rise, the Fed must continue to raise interest rates, become more aggressive, etc. About unemployment, he was questioned in a very, very strict manner acceptable, and he was unable to provide straightforward responses. He had an extremely difficult time. He was attempting to circumvent them on occasion. Yet, Paola did say something quite distinct from what he had been saying previously. Remember that he already stated that inflation will be temporary. That was clearly incorrect. Later, he stated that the Fed may facilitate a gently landing. Again, he was stating the same thing. Now he claims that he essentially hinted that will most likely not be the case. He also stated that he cannot say anything with absolute surety until he receives the data. But he did state that it is likely due to the manner in which Congress and several of these members questioned him. He did hint that unemployment could be extremely painful. He did state that it is quite probable, and this is in stark contrast to the easy landing. He made it abundantly obvious that millions of people will undoubtedly lose their jobs, and there will be much suffering. That will not be identical to a 4% unemployment rate. That might be considerably greater, right? He was indeed subjected to intense interrogation over this matter. Thus, when unemployment skyrockets, consumers aggregate demand for commonplace items tends to decrease. When this occurs, the decline in demand will effectively contribute to a decline in pricing. And it will also result in a different shift in the economy may be leading to a recession not only for corporations but for the entire markets. In essence, this is what Powell is like, we are told. He was also informed that every time the Fed raised interest rates to this extent, a recession followed. In my opinion, it is utter nonsense for him to assert that a soft landing is imminent or that it is very probable based on previous statements. Complete bullshit. Powell clarifies the situation, and if anything, this would be a significant triumph for the bears. Bears in the marketplace predict a market crash. Indeed, Powell has made it quite apparent that this is likely to occur now. We must wait for the next DPI data and inflationary measures to be released before receiving additional information. But, I would want to stress that while I will be extremely cautious at these times, I'm also prepared for further declines in the future. Might the market recover slightly? Certainly, it is possible. I do not anticipate a large rebound. I have been stating this for some time. The negative is expected to cause the market to decline. It will likely drive AMC down if AMC does not hold 5.9 in the near future. Man, he will drop all the way down to fill this gap in the low fives. Then even lower levels exist. This is something I've been saying for such a long time. And we're finally beginning to see evidence of its realization. Now, why is this taking place? The market is beginning to price in an increase. Regressive Fed where we are approximately 69% of the way there, nearly 70% of the way there for pricing, and a 50 basis point rate increase for March. 
I've repeated this numerous times. Many individuals dislike hearing that. You know, as I saw AMC falling from $8 to $7, I did not get caught up in the euphoria. I was not implying that it will reach all-time highs. I warned everyone that the chances favored AMC eventual decline. And that is precisely what has transpired thus far. She is neither 8 nor 7. She is actually returning to the number 6. Now, could AMC make a comeback? As an example, could the market have a momentary uptick on Friday and other days due to the options chain? There is a possibility. Okay, there is indeed a possibility. If you examine the options chain, there's a chance that market makers will attempt to prop this up for Friday, or possibly for the following Friday. Again, I'm unconcerned because how far could they push the markets back up to about 400 on SPY? How much will this drag AMC down? Just about 50 cents, 60 cents. This is negligible compared to the far higher downside potential that I foresee over the next couple of months. Acceptable I will be truthful with everyone. I have been stating this for months. Here on AMC, there's a void below fives. Another void exists all the way down to $4. Such positions will presumably be filled in the next months, perhaps through April or May. I see that taking place, perhaps beginning in the second half of March. Aggression will increase. I will be straightforward and honest. Now, why is tomorrow such an enormous day? Today, Jerome Powell addressed the United States Senate and the Senate. They questioned him. Man. He was unable to simply sidestep questions or avoid them. He needed to be direct. And, in my perspective, he was highly hawkish, though not to the same extent as Jackson Hole. But if CPI is high in Powell, you know, continues to act as he has been acting, then we have a hawkish Fomkin Fed. All of these factors combined might cause the market to crash severely in the coming weeks and months. Again, this will certainly drive AMC down to begin filling many of these holes, particularly if she breaks balloon below 5.9 acceptable so. I wish to provide as much clarity as possible to everyone. Tomorrow, Powell will be speaking, so expect significant volatility. The probabilities are that he will be hawkish once more. And may be evaluating 5.9 tomorrow. And if she fails at 5.9, there will be further negative outcomes. The fives are completely devoid of spaces. Acceptable I am aware that it is incredibly challenging. I understand your frustration, but this is the current state of our economy. This is the actuality. Because, as many have said, the truth is what helps you see the light. The truth will assist reveal what is actually occurring and how we could possibly respond to it. Acceptable thank you for your attention. Have an incredible remainder of the day. Prepare for tomorrow. The day is monumental because Powell will speak again. And farewell.